Hi. This is a video on how to play Celtic music, specifically imitate the bagpipes, on the oboe. In order to do that, we have to understand a few things about the bagpipes. Number one, they don't stop to ever take a breath. Um, they have the bag, and that is filled with air, and when they want to take a breath, they use the bag to push air through the instrument. And we can imitate that by doing circle breathing. If you have never done circle breathing, or you don't know what it is, or you're having trouble, uh, go to the description below and click the link on how to do circle breathing. After that, the other thing to understand is that the instrument uh, does not require any articulation. There's no tonguing, there's no dynamics, there's no vibrato. The bagpipes itself uh, is a very similar sound once you remove the drones. In fact, if you take just the part of the a bagpipe that you use your fingers on, which is called the chanter, it looks very similar. It's got a double reed, just like the oboe, but it doesn't have any keys. It only plays nine notes. So I'm going to play for you a melody as an oboist, and then I'm going to play it as a bagpipe player without any of the ornaments. So now, I'm going to remove the vibrato and the dynamics and the articulations, but I'm still going to keep in the articulations for when I do a repeated note. Now we're going to talk about doing ornaments. The ornaments are one of the most characteristic things about the bagpipes and so we have to study them as close as we can. Um, we can take note for note how they do their ornaments but sometimes it's uh, not possible on our instrument so we kind of have to make it up as we go. But as we do it, as we can make it up and, and figure out our own ways to do these ornaments, uh, we have to keep the same style, which is very, very fast with the fingers, making sure that the air doesn't drop, and if there is any squeaking or cracking when you're jumping large uh, intervals, that's okay. It adds to the sound and the feel, so that's not a problem. So I'm going to teach you the first three here, uh, will be very useful for playing this song that we just played, this melody. The first one is a G, high G, to a B, to a low G. That's the ornament, and we're going to place that before a B in the melody. The second one is G, D, C sharp, and we're going to place that before the D in the melody. On this ornament, I don't use a traditional C sharp. I find my pinkies a little bit too slow, and I can't get the snappy feel that I like. So I play a fake C sharp. I play G, D, and then I just remove my left hand as a C sharp and it comes back on for the D. The next one is a repeated F sharp. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the F sharp. We're going to use this, again, a fake F sharp, which is here. Something like that. On a bagpipe, uh, the players use their fingers flat. You can really snap around there really fast. Um, so I don't like to do that. 
for all the ornaments when I'm playing, but for this ornament specifically, I will put it flat because I, I think it works much better. It sounds like I'm playing three F sharps in a row without using my tongue. And that's basically what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to put them all together uh, using the melody that I used at the beginning. So in that last section I just showed you, there was a few other ornaments that I put in there, and they're very simple. It's just a G to an A, and an E to an F sharp. What makes those very difficult though, is being able to hit the key very fast and come back up right away. We don't want to linger down, otherwise it sounds unstylistic. So now I'm going to play a faster tune, and there's a few new ornaments in there. And so what I'll do is I will play it very slow, and you can hear the old ornaments, and then when the new ornaments come in, and then I'll explain those. So the new ornament that I put in there is very simple to do. It's B to a D. But instead of using a regular D, because it's a little bit too difficult, I will use a fake uh, D. I play it like a C to a C sharp trill. So I go B, and I put down this and this, B, D, B, D, B. And I can end that off um, with an A or a B or a G or whatever you want, wherever the melody is after that. So those are a few of the basic ornaments, and uh, if you understand the style of the snappy ornaments, then you can change or add or do all the different things you want. So there you go. Please have fun. Um, do whatever you want to do with the ornaments. Uh, there's no right uh, way to do it. That's one thing because um, there's no syllabus on how to play Celtic oboe or imitate a bagpipe. So if you uh, just play around, have fun, and if you discover anything, please let me know. Thanks.